I am Erica Dean, and this is my research presentation, I'm Leslie Baum. I chose her because I visited, I had a visiting artist seminar. It's every Tuesday at 1 p.m. You should get emails on it if you want to join. I'm, I am in it for a class, but it's really fun. You get to see a whole lot of different artists, and they talk to you. It's really nice. And August 31st, she was the uh, the artist that day, and I just, I loved her work so much. She does a lot of uh, acrylic and watercolor, especially watercolor, and I think sometimes oil. Um, so the drawings on the right are two of the things that she's done. Uh, one thing that I just, I really love about her, she really takes inspiration from others, like friends, people around her or previous artists. Um, I will explain this a little bit later, but one, some things she likes to do is she'll think or look at a painting that someone has done, you know, someone in the past, contemporary, whatever, and she'll basically make her own version of it, not like copying it. She does a lot of abstract work, um, and she learns from it, and it's, it's really just I think that's amazing. She also loves plein air painting. Um, she has a, f a series that I really enjoy. It's uh, She calls them like little dates and she watercolors with people and then she makes paintings out of those. It's And it's really abstract, but I, I love the meaning and the color after she's explained it. So this is one of her installations. It's called Here Comes the Rain Rainbow and it's in Cleve Canary Museum of Art. And this is actually being held now. It ends September 29th, so quite soon, but you can see the images on the bottom. It's just kind of her exploring rainbows and like colors and just shapes, and um, you can see maybe what the people are sitting on. That was also a part of the installation. Uh, it's just kind of a way to still be able to rest, but see the installation. Now, this is a very long quote from the exhibition, exhibition catalog, but I'm going to read just a small bit of it because I think it really says uh, a lot. She is not wedded to a particular material or process. Her interest in remaking the same form, or more precisely silhouette, as a shaped canvas on a sheet of embossed paper or into a piece of ceramic arises from her curiosity about the relationship between perception and apprehension, how we see what we see, while her use of different mediums expands the historical definition of painting. So I, I just, I really like that, um, that, I guess, quote, um, because she does, she loves color and she doesn't just do things on the canvas. You can see the sitting, like the stuff that they're sitting on, that's also part of her art. Um, later, she, you you will see some like sculpture kind of thing she painted on. She doesn't just paint on the like, canvas, and it's just the color and like the shape. You can see what she's trying to do, and it just it re it speaks so loud, despite it just being like an art piece. So as I mentioned, collaboration and people with her are a very important part of her artwork. Um, the pieces on the right I mentioned that she likes, she also does some, like, sculpture sort of stuff, and you can see that, uh, these are kind of pieces that work together, so this isn't a collaboration between other people, it's just a collaboration between pieces, but she also has done a lot of collaborations with other people. Unfortunately, her website isn't very, it's very new, so she doesn't have everything on it that she has maybe mentioned in the artist talk, but one thing she did was a stop motion collaboration, and it was, it was so beautiful, um, and that was, and she's also done many other collaborations, and it's just a, such an important part of her work, it's other people, um, I just, I think it's really beautiful how even though her art, it's something she does by herself, it, it's, it's a, a little bit of everything. It kind of just, it's everything. Uh, so I mentioned earlier, this, uh, these little watercolor dates, I think it's so cute that she calls them dates, but, um, this started before COVID, and again, there isn't a lot of documentation that I could find on her website, 
So the image on the right, while it is watercolor, that's part of another series, her plain air uh, series, where she just sits outside and paints. And that's kind of similar to what the watercolor dates are. It's, she's outside with someone else and they're together and they're painting. Uh, during COVID, this kind of took a like Zoom kind of method, but she, uh, because of like vaccinations and things opening up more, she was able to get back out and work more with people. She said she usually has other people pick the, um, like the, the place. It's usually a park or like she, uh, I think it's like an observation tower. She's based in Chicago. So there's a lot of places for her to go. And she just, it's really fun. Uh, I remember one image, it was her and someone painting and their chairs were sitting in a creek bed and they were just painting and they were using the water from the creek that their feet are in. It was just, it's really fun. And I, I've painted um, with my partner uh, from insp taking inspiration from her. And it's just connecting with someone with their art through art, just not even if you're like painting together, you know, on the same piece of paper, it's just, it's another kind of experience and communication that not a lot of people I think can understand or maybe experience. And I think it's really an amazing experience. Uh, so as I mentioned, these, artists like these collaborations they also there's a couple different elements to them they paint together so they have their individual art that they've made but then she uh leslie will go back to her studio and she'll take a couple different elements from a couple different um art art uh like collaborations and she'll make them into one again i'm sorry i can't there's, I don't have any images of these. Uh, the website's just, it's very new. It's not very complete yet. And it's just, it's very fun because again, these are all abstract, but you can see where she's trying to get, where she is getting the inspiration from. And I, it's just kind of empowering. It's uh, like someone you drew and had a personal moment with. Now you have this amazing piece of art. And then here are my sources. Uh, if you want to check out her actual website, that is the second uh, link right there. And then we also have the Museum of Art and then just another magazine kind of uh, website that wrote a lot about her. I just used it because of the images. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy and maybe take some inspiration from her like I did.